It is a cool summer day, and activity around Dave and Laura Manuel's beehive is slow. Their decision to try their hands at beekeeping is because they both like the idea of making their own food. I got interested in, in uh, beekeeping uh, by attending a, a bee workshop held in Bemidji uh, about three, four years ago. There was a workshop and uh, my wife and I attended and we just got the bee bug. I just like the idea of it, um, having also been uh, doing a lot of reading about uh, colony collapse disorder and how uh, our uh, pollinators were being threatened. I just thought I could uh, do something, do something positive about beekeeping and, and keeping be, uh, honeybees going. Uh, even though we have our own indigenous bees here, you know, in our nation. But I just like the idea of, of, of making honey. We enjoy doing it. There are a few beekeepers in and around the Red Lake region. So this has been a learning experience for the couple. What I've learned is it's really tough uh, in this northern climate to winter bees. In fact, I only know of one person that successfully wintered bees, and he lives in Nashwalk. Um, in fact, our bees died last year, and we did try to winter them, but they didn't survive. And I think about my bees. In one hive, I know they start out in the thousands, but they can, I think they go up to 20-some thousand at the height of their uh, activity in, in foraging for pollen and nectar. It's a little cold today. Um, it was raining earlier, so their activity has died down to where they're probably, uh, most of them are in the hive. They're really quiet right now. Here we have four segments of hive. The two smaller upper ones are called supers. That's, that's beekeeper lingo for where, uh, as, as the season goes on, here down here, the queen is mating and and uh, and creating new bees all the time. Um, bees actually only have a lifespan of maybe two months, three months, and they and and then they die. They're worker bees. Inside the hives, the hive boxes, we have frames. And inside the frames, hold on, we have where the bees are, are doing their thing. But you'll see on the top of the frame where they are uh, capping off honey. So this hive here is in pretty good shape. David hasn't mowed his lawn since he's been beekeeping, but only so he can provide a source of food for his colonies. Beekeeping is one way the Manuels keep past traditions alive in the present. They also make maple syrup, harvest wild rice, go berry picking, and hunt. I find myself drawn to these, these uh, activities that uh, find me outside, you know, in the sun or in the rain uh, or in the snow. And I just find myself happy doing those kinds of things. I think we as uh, Indian people need to reconnect with uh, with how our ancestors got by day to day, year to year. And they did it without going to the grocery store. They did it on their own. They, they had their gardens and they went out and they foraged and hunted and gathered. And that's the reason we're here today. You know, a uh, hundred years ago, we didn't have to think about these things. You know, uh, everything was organic. It's just very, satisfying to know that you know our time our effort our love has has brought us this joy and and uh, it tastes and great healthy. yeah and it's healthy you know the the, the benefits of, of uh, eating honey are you know just just astronomical they're they're full of anti uh, I don't even know how to say that word they're, they're full of uh, Good stuff that 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 helps your body 
helps your immune, immune system be stronger. The fact of the matter is, is that Laura and I, we can't make enough either honey or maple sugar to satisfy the demand amongst their own people. And that's why I'm always encouraging people to make that time for themselves, to go do it themselves. It's, if I can do it, anyone can. At the end of the day or at the end of the season, you're, you're gonna be very happy and you're gonna ask yourself, just like I did, why didn't I do this before?